the Marvel Avengers game has finally come out with the first big update that will bring us our very first new character, Kate Bishop. It's been a very long time coming, which begs the question, is this game dead already and Kate was just a futile attempt at recouping losses, or is this a sign of the future where the game will be able to prosper and be what we want it to be? Today we will deep dive into the complicated past and future of Marvel's Avengers. The Marvel's Avengers game came out this year on September 4th to a very mixed opinion. Most can agree that the story is alright and the combat and basic gameplay loop are very well done and probably the best part of the game. But this is a live service game with plenty of issues regarding content, repetitiveness, and loop mechanics. The gameplay loop and combat is brilliant, it is far and away the best part of the game. It is so fun to play this game when it's on its high notes. There's a very fine balance between fun factor and difficulty that they tiptoe perfectly. Each Avenger feels extremely fun and unique, and Kate is probably the best Avenger so far. After being a Black Widow man for the longest, yeah, Kate's definitely my favorite one to play now. Not only is she visually great, but she feels great to play and is really fun. Feels like playing Dante from Devil May Cry, pretty much. She has all this teleporting, all of these dashes, her sword, all these different bow things, and it's just really fun. Far and away the best designed Avenger so far in my opinion. And while Kate is further proof that the combat design is great, top notch, and pretty much carries the game, this doesn't address the underlying issues everyone's been complaining about. This is a live service game, and if you don't know what that means, then think about Destiny, Division, or Anthem or any game like that. It's continuously changing and may even be a completely different game in some senses given enough time to evolve. This game style pretty much determines that there's going to be gear, levels, loot, progress, and usually multiplayer content that gets increasingly difficult but brings higher tier loot to your table. Avengers unfortunately lacks in this department the most. There's no substantial multiplayer content, it's only single player and it is the extremely repetitive Hive missions. There really is no loot chase to the game. There's no specific piece of loot that you can go after and be like, wow I finally have this, this feels really nice. There's no Yowler Horn from Destiny, there's no real good loot. Everything, it feels a lot like Division 2 in that aspect, where it's just like, this has better stats, so it's cool. But, the minute stat differences don't make for a very successful grind, it really feels tedious if anything, and it's like, wow, I really went up that 1% on melee rating, that's very fun. Games like this really need to have some sort of goal to reach, something where it's like, yeah, I want that, I want to get that. And there's really no point to even getting good loot right now, you're just farming the endless Mega Hives and Heroic Hives, which is the same exact stuff over and over and over again. Nothing really different than beating up on the same mobs you've been beating up since forever. Also, exotics are very underwhelming, there's really no difference between those exotics and the purples and the yellows. They're all relatively the same, it's really based off of stats more than anything. The release of the game was also plagued with bugs, whether it was having to restart missions because an enemy teleports into a wall, or losing literally every bit of progress on your character for no reason. Most updates on the game, therefore, didn't even have much content. It was all fixes for bugs. The only substantial additions since launch have been Mega Hives and Tachyon Rifts, which if you've played them, that's very insignificant in the long run. Mega Hives are the same 8 floors of everything, the same 5 floors of the same enemies and objectives, and Tachyon Rifts are legitimately just the same missions but with a time limit and you continuously take damage. I'm willing to give them the benefit of the doubt with the Kate update. The game shouldn't have even been released when it did, probably should have been months later to be quite honest, and they did a really good job um, expediting bug fixes and listening to the community. And COVID delays are pretty uh, effective as well. We all see that with Cyberpunk, Halo Infinite, all these other releases, delays are pretty much common during this time. But there are no more excuses now. The telling of the future will lie between this update and the next one where it has Clint or the ha Hawkeye that people usually know. It needs to be consistent, timely, and needs to add more than just characters and needs innovation with the content. They can add every character in the MCU, but it's not going to make up for the fact that there's no content. Each character is only going to bring you back for so long since you're just doing the same missions farming the same loot. We really can't be waiting 4 months for another big update neither. There's just simply not enough content to go around and there's no point in the endgame at the moment either. We need good multiplayer content. No more 100 floors of the same objectives and rooms and sponge health bar bosses. The game really reminds me of Destiny 1 almost exactly. The two games carried by their IP and gameplay loop, 
There was a massive lack of content and plenty of repetition at the beginning filled with big health boss fights. As in, there's a big enemy in a room and everyone's just simply shooting it and the difficulty is determined by how big its health bar is. Destiny did fully turn it around a year later with the Taken King update, but then again, that was an entire year. And the previous two updates, The Dark Below and House of Wolves, weren't necessarily, necessarily groundbreaking, but they did add improvements and added more raids, content, weapons, and items to get. I think the Kate update is a step in the right direction. If you won the game, I would recommend playing her and playing the new Operation missions. The only way from here is up, and with a clean slate and a clean game, Crystal Dynamics can focus on actually getting content into the game. If we get Clint and his update next month, we get a raid, we get actual new content, there will be hope for this game. But if not, we can just put this game to rest right now until they make massive changes, as in Destiny Taken King level of changes within the next few months.